At the heart of the case, telephone conversations dating back to the end of 2013. At the time, Nicolas Sarkozy was being wiretapped, suspected of taking illegal contributions from Libya for his 2007 presidential campaign. The probe would soon lead investigators closer to home. They discovered that the former president was in possession of a secret second phone line registered to his friend Paul Bismuth, a line Sarkozy used for talking to his lawyer and friend Thierry Herzog. It was through Herzog that Sarkozy is accused of having tried to bribe a senior appeals court magistrate, Gilbert Azibert. Sarkozy was allegedly seeking secret information on a separate investigation into potential illegal contributions to his 2007 campaign from L'Oreal heiress Lilian Betancourt. In exchange, he's accused of offering to help Azibert obtain a prestigious job posting in Monaco. Now on trial for corruption and influence peddling, the ex-president says he never actually intervened with Monaco authorities on Azibert's behalf. But prosecutors say just the intent is enough to convict him. He faces up to 10 years in prison and a million euro fine. It is normal. Is it acceptable that I be spied on in my most intimate conversations? That I be held in custody for 15 hours? Pendant 15 hours. Mm. They're trying to humiliate me. De m'humilier. Along with sharing Sarkozy's charges, Thierry Herzog and Gilbert Azibert are also facing charges of violating professional secrets. The proceedings, expected to run until December 10th, are unprecedented. It's the first time ever a French former president is standing trial for corruption. Sarkozy is already due in court again next spring over more charges of illegal campaign financing for his 2012 re-election bid.